Uh, recently, we have got a UFO high bay light from the market. This black one. Uh, it looks cool. The heat sink, um, 100 watts, I think maybe okay. Uh, with lens and this typical UFO driver. Amazing it for this UFO light. I think the specification is very good. Okay, let's see it. It can achieve IP65. That means it can work in the high humidity and uh, uh, outdoor place. The RA is more than 80. This is uh, uh, okay for most of the applications. And the, the, the lumen, it's very good. It can achieve as high as 113 lumen per watt. I think in the market, market mostly only 18 or, or 19 or even 17 uh, lumen per watt for the cheap product and uh, for the good product it's more than 120 so this it can achieve 113 lumen per watt this is very good okay this is the lifespan uh, 15,000 hours uh, this is uh, quite normal for all the LED lights it can achieve this Okay, so we can see that all this specification is amazing, really amazing. Uh, but another thing is its price. The price is more attractive. It's only 95 RMB for this one. With such kind of specification, only 95 RMB. So 95 RMB it means, okay, USD dollar. 19.5 the currency is 7.1 how much 13.4 USD dollar for this one retail price so by this price if I'm honest I really thought it's uh, the specification is fake because it's too cheap uh, I also working with the many factories and I know the BOM cost. Uh, uh, if I made it, the cost will be like this. Normally for LED lighting, we, uh, we divided it into three parts. First, it's the driver. Okay. Uh, second, it's the light source, LED and the PCB, PCB, okay. and the third one is the housing, uh, it means this, uh, this heat sink, and uh, the lens, heat sink, Nice. Now, if I make this uh, this high bay light a hundred watts, for this definitely it's not a real CE product or UL product. The driver definitely it's not a EMI standard. So if I go to the market buy this a uh, hundred watts driver, the cost can be the cheapest uh, around. 13.5 RMB, uh, but for this one, uh, this is a uh, uh, round aluminum UFO driver box. This also need cost. It's about uh, let's say it's six RMB. So totally it's fourteen one. Second is for the uh, for the driver. For the LED, uh, if we want to achieve 100 lumen per watt, currently a very popular solution is use uh, uh, lumen LEDs. Lumen LEDs. This is the LED brand. And the price now in China is about uh, 0.4 MB each piece. Each piece, okay? And we also need to mount it on the PCB. So the total cost is about 0.3 MB each piece, including the material cost and uh, also mounting it uh, on the PCB. 
So for a hundred pieces, normally we use a hundred pieces LED for a hundred watt time. This is a cheap way. So the LED cost is 13 MB and we also need the PCB. Let's say it's 6 MB. So totally is 36. The last is the housing. The housing. Uh, in my opinion, this kind of housing for a hundred watt type, it's quite light. I'm not sure it's strong uh, or not, strong enough or not. Normally, we, uh, if we made a hundred watt uh, UFO high bay light, we use the housing cost is about uh, about twenty thousand RMB for for the housing for the cheap one. So let's say in total, the total cost, BOM, total, forty one, fifty six, and sixteen. Oh, my raw material cost is already one hundred thirty seven RMB, and. Uh, I will need the cartoon, I will need the uh, labor cost, I will need the thermal grease. So my selling price will definitely be uh, more than 170. This is the selling price. Okay, let's see 170. Oh my god. So what's the difference? Okay. Point nine. My price is ten point five USD dollar higher. It means seventy eight percent. My God. So, if I made the UFO to achieve similar specification, my price, factory price, will be 78.6% higher. This is really incredible. So that's why I really doubt the specification and this packing. I think the master some parameters are fake, even for the power, for the IP and for the RA, maybe all think. But anyway, let's test and see the real data. The spectrum testing finished. Let's see the data. I can't wait it. Okay, this is the CCT. RA, yeah is the power okay the IES testing also finished let's see the data oh it's here Now let's uh, compare our independent uh, optical testing results with the specification and the packing. Uh, first, let's see the CCT. So just now, I just found that I can't find the CCT and the color box. Oh my god. But uh, every people know that the color temperature is very important for every kind of lighting. But we can't find it. I don't know how to say about it, okay? Uh, so second is the RA. The RA is more than 18. Okay, this is okay. 
uh, the power power is 102 okay so this is okay and for the lumen efficiency this is uh, core white so it should be 113 the highest but our test result is only 18.4 so big difference So in the past two days, we have do a series of testing for this UFO hybrid lights. Now let's have a summary. Uh, first, for the power, uh, the test result is okay. Uh, for the RA, the requirement is more than 18, the test result is 18.5, it's also okay. Uh, for the safety, uh, because the safety cable is loose, it's failed. And also for the heat transfer, because the uh, thermal grease is not uniform. Fail. Let's see the uh, lumen efficiency. The requirement is 130, uh, but the actual result is only 18.4. Big difference. Fail. The CCT is more than 7,000K, even there is uh, uh, no showing the CCT and the box, this also fail because it's bad for people's uh, eye. And for the IP, our test result is totally fail. Okay, that's all. Confusion, big confusion. See you next time.